Anyways, blue chew tastes like Smarties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's a pill that gets your dick hard. Hardy. Hard, pal. Uh-huh. Okay? You know what? I My penis, it sucks. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you, you know? <laughs> When I when we when I first when I when I the first time I had sex, not only was my dick bent, mm. but it was small. It was small and it was soft. And it's not. I explained to the girl. She's screaming. She's crying. I'm holding her down. I'm telling. I'm her. holding her down. And it's I'm telling her not bent. It's the only that one side of it works. Let me fuck you sideways. We're gonna. Ah, Jesus. It, then it'll be straight. God, Jesus Christ. It's like. You know, you deal with these fucking brides. These fucking hers. And they. Hers? You, you gotta. Say, I don't know. I'm fucking Are we mean. doing a Chicago? Yes. Thing? We're uh, making fun of people from Chicago because yeah. all their dicks. Anyway, my dick is shaft. Yeah, we, I got a deep dish style penis. Which means <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's bent sideways. <laughs> Everybody in Chicago. That's the thing. It's a Chicago thing. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Everybody else, they got straight dicks. It That's goes fine. down and then it goes out. My dick, it kind of hooks around in a weird way. It's like a and fucking. And you could use it to serve deep dish. It's like a warped piece of lumber. <laughs> You know, it's a p. It's garbage. It's uh-huh. anywhere else. It's garbage. It's I'm like, gay. Yeah, I'm gay too. It's the other thing. There's a lot of people. It's a Chicago. It's thing. a Chicago. You thing. know, in New York, you get a New York style of pizza, and that's real flat. And we don't like that here. What we like is being bent over and getting fucked with a gun to our head. That's, <laughs> That's what you call a real New uh, New York Chicago. Yeah. They call it a New York Chicago. That's a Lou Malnati style. They call it a Chicago style New York City. (laughs) And that's where you you Mm -hmm. get put down on your knees. Your your partner takes a blue chew. Uh Uh-huh. And his dick gets hard. And then he puts a nine millimeter in your mouth and makes you suck on it. That's right. While the blue chew kicks in. (laughs) <laughs> At that point, you know, you already got a lot of saliva built up in uh-huh. your mouth from sucking on a gun, <laughs> and you're ready to suck cock Chicago style. And you wake up, yeah. you're bloody, so then, you're yeah. crying, and you maybe check out an improv comedy they show. Call that a, <laughs> they call that a Chicago typewriter. You know what that is? What's that? It's a typewriter where you write all your gay secrets on it and put it away in a little drawer where your mom can't find it. Chicago style. You know, because you're sharing, you're sharing a... a <laughs> <laughs> what are their houses got? Chicago bungalow. Yeah. You know, I've lived in a Chicago style bungalow with my mom since nineteen seventy three. Yeah. <laughs> and I uh when I was thirteen I picked up a Chicago typewriter. Right. You know, which a lot of people yeah, you just write gay secrets on. <laughs> And you tuck it away. For years, they kept it in a drawer, but one of my stepdads found it while he was looking for pornography. Mm. Uh-huh. And, uh, and I had to bludgeon him to death with the uh, baseball bat. Yeah, well, he took me out into uh, the garage, and he uh, he put he put stape he stapled my butt cheeks closed. <laughs> and he said, "The only way anything's getting in here." Is if they got one of those little those things you pretended was a monster. Yeah, those a jaw things. The little monster yeah, toy. Yeah, with the fangs. Good luck finding one of those in Chicago. The only thing we have here, pal, is dildos. <laughs> That's all we sell is dildo pizza. <laughs> Back then, of course, the only topping on a deep dish pizza was a big sloppy dildo. <laughs> yep. All greased up with ass juice and cub. Right. But the point is, when you're getting fucked Chicago style, you want blue make cheese. sure your partner's got blue they chew want in blue his cap. Because it's the same generic ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. <laughs> the Chicago style. They call that deep dish dick pills. <laughs> the pills are thicker. You know, it's the oh, same, yeah. same milligram dosage, uh-huh. but you can use them as earplugs so you don't have to listen to the sound of your son being sodomized <laughs> upstairs by your partner. You know, you got to do a lot of things. <laughs> Chicago rents are going up. <laughs> True. Everybody's moving to Chicago because of coronavirus. Right. You know? I heard that. Because and so just to be clear, you have to prostitute your son <laughs> yeah. because of that. Your son has to get you fucked gotta by your You got to run a room out in your house and your son... <laughs> It's so just being molested up there. So you, <laughs> so you can you have a ends meet. That's why you need a deep dish style of blue Deep dish chew. style dick pill. You get it right here in Chicago. Put it in your ears or in your mouth. You make your dick hard. You plug it. You pull it, put it in your ear. And it works in your ear, too. Yeah. That's how they call that taking dick pill Chicago style. You shove it in your ear. And then you, it, it's a slow burn. Because everybody in Chicago, they has got a bent dick. So you really only need half the pills to get the, the good side of your dick. Dick hard. Oh yeah. They call it the South Side. 
Right. The south side gets hard, and you're, then the top stays limp. So the whole <laughs> thing curves back around. You. Interesting. And then your dick It's points. kind of the opposite, where the south side yeah. is good on your dick. In Chicago, In everybody's the city, dick, the it, south side's it big. It loops back and points at you, and you walk around with your pants down. You go, you talking to me, pal? <laughs> or you, hey, you were talking to me? Yeah. Right. Because that's, and the dick points at you. Right. And they can't do that in New York. That's why you got to have, you know, De Niro. He's got the little gun in the movie. Right. Remember that? That was sort of a, a reference to Chicago. Yeah. About how everybody, when he pulls, when he whips a gun out of his sleeve, that was Scorsese saying, I've been the Chicago. <laughs> I've seen what their cocks look like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. We all, know about it. we all know about the cock situation in Chicago. <laughs> the way their cocks point back at So anyways, you want a couple of Chicago <laughs> deep dish style blue chew pills. <laughs> Same generic ingredients as Viagra and Seattle. Sedalafil and Sedan and the Sildenafil. And guess what? You don't got to go to an old fucking doctor. That Sildenafil reminds me of my friend Phil Sildena. Right. Oh, great guy, Phil. <laughs> Good guy, that guy. Chicago, Chicago guy. Chicago guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, that's weird. You know what? I knew that because I knew him from Chicago and we grew up there together, but I never put it together that he was a Chicago, <laughs> yeah, Chicago guy. guy. I never left Plus, the his cock looks exactly like you described. I've been living on Beaker Street in Chicago my entire life. Right. North side. They got that? Like, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah every lived, street I, is just streets from New York, but you take a letter out. So I'm Beaker. Beaker. I lived in, yeah, Beaker and, <laughs> and, and Houston Street. <laughs> yeah. Houston, yeah. Yeah, between uh, <laughs> Beaker and Houston. <laughs> on, and Mulberry. Uh, yeah. Over there on Mulberry Street. Mulberry. Uh, yeah, no, I was living there for a long time. Uh-huh. And uh, now it's uh, now it's the wrong city. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, there you go. You don't pay attention for a second. You end up somewhere completely different. End up in, in a different place. <laughs> the point is... Philadelphia, it's like Chicago, but nobody's gay. <laughs> <laughs> but none of that weird gay Midwestern stuff. And you don't got to go to no gay doctor. You do it all online. Yeah, New York, from Chicago or, New York, or Philly. I forget. I don't really know where they we got, are anymore. They got thin crust pizza in New York and Chicago. They got deep dish. And in Philly, they got whites only pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, do you mean white pizza? <laughs> Yeah, so that's, whatever. Right, that's what that means. Yeah, whatever. I guess it's got a like a, a a cream type of cheese also. Yeah, we got cream cheese. That's our type of shit. Mm-hmm. So now go now go, if you're you could do it from your home in Philadelphia. You can go to uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, dot All right. <laughs> Give me a second here. Let me get back to... We got to get back to talking about Blue Chew. Are we going back... We doing Philly or are we doing Chicago? I can't fuck. tell the fucking I f- difference I, f- I can't anymore. do Chicago anymore. I think it's lost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened there. Well, something changed and now... <laughs> the fuck? Now we're not capable of it. Now I can't... I, I, I hit my limit with that fucking city. <laughs> it's, it doesn't help the... Chi- uh, it doesn't help the Philadelphia's you know what I just think? Dundalk. It would, would the so problem So we is, sleep in, slip into it, no problem. The problem is that you tried to do Chicago, and you've ruined it for me. Well, hey, you, if, you were, if you were actually good at the voice, it wouldn't matter what the fuck I was doing. Uh, excuse me, I am actually good okay, at Okay, the well then, why the fuck ain't you been able to do it yourself? Because you started talking, and you started I was doing, doing it pretty good. I slipped no. one time. Yeah, and that's right. One time. <laughs> and it was your and I went right back, but you well, you had to go to Chicago. We're on a you had to go to Philly. We're on a tandem bicycle here, <laughs> and you fat-footed those pedals backwards. I did it one fucking time. And you ruined the whole thing. The bicycle yeah. fell over. Now we look like a couple of fags <laughs> on the side of the road with our bicycle falling over. <laughs> That's a funny mental image is two gay guys on a tandem bicycle that's just in a gutter. Yeah. And they're like, help us! <laughs> police! Help! Somebody call the police! Our bicycle fell over! Our tandem bicycle! <laughs> uh, tandem bicycle with dildos in the seat? Of course. And then a... Yeah, like a but like that a, goes. And like a, one of those Skyrider banners flying behind it that says bluechew.com. That's Ooh. right. Which is a great website. And if you says, like sex, you'll yeah, love BlueChew.com. You and go there. You go over there. Code come town. Go to promo code come town, yeah. and you get a f- uh, free in- intro. You go in there like James Con and Thief. You say, "What do you got? Dick pills? You got a, a chink? You got a Jew chink kid? We'll take that." Right. 
Well, why don't we just do the promo code? It's a highly emotional scene. It's a thief. great scene. Yeah. First of all, I'm quoting one of the He's greatest. He's quoting Thief. Right I know. Maybe after the actual how about read it's, is How over. about instead it's Jack Nicholson at the beginning of The Departed? No, no, okay. no. no. <laughs> that would be, that, that'd be a Boston. The uh, thing guys from <laughs> Chicago <laughs> don't realize. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go to bluechew.com. Use promo code CUMTOWN. That's the thing Chicagoans don't realize. <laughs> I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be free of. Yep. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. right. You got Chicago, guys from Chicago. Chicago. Guys guys. From Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the beat back on the board. The, oh, we do need the beep for sure. Get the beep back on here. All right, beepchew.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about the settings. I'm more of a. Uh, I do it a plat. I'm more of a plat guy. You know, I do it a plat. I've never uh, really cast anything that is dependent on a setting. You know, uh, it's uh, more about it's more about cool shots. You know, it's I love about the cool idea shot. of putting Bobby De Niro somewhere where you look at him and you say, "Now there's a guy that not only fucks but he does crimes." He does That's crimes, right. and he, I can see his balls. Mm, you know, I remember the original draft. Of heat, I just wrote the word "fuck" down on a piece of paper, <laughs> and I thought, "Where is this Chicago Michael Mann?" That's where he's from. Oh, he is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Th- for real, I think Thief was his first or one of his first movies. Oh, I had no idea. Now Chicago. Adam's not That's sure. That's why he's, you can hear the fear can, in his yeah. voice. And then he became, <laughs> and then he became the possibility of, of him being not, wrong, of being wrong about the movie. I've been wrong so many times. Yeah, but, but you wouldn't score points with the other Jews. No, but I that. did do it in the voice of me trying to be right, mm. which set myself up for failure. Mm, it's a character you do. Adam trying to be right. Yeah, David Mamet. <laughs> David Mamet's like first draft or something, just being the word fuck and then I wrote down fuck on the piece of oh, paper. Oh, that's who I meant. Mamet, not Michael Mann. Both of them are Chicago guys. Mamet's from Chicago? Yeah. Huh. The three guys from Chicago are Michael Mann, David Mamet, and Shel Silverstein. Yeah. <laughs> Shel Silverstein's from Chicago. Yeah. Chicago guy. I fucking love Shel Silverstein. Jim and bro. John Belushi. That was my guy as a little kid. I used yeah. to love yeah. those books. Yeah. And he looks like he fucks. I didn't see a picture of him until pretty late in life. Yeah, you know, I grew up in Chicago, Southside, and that's why most of my movies, uh, they deal with, the, you know, guys saying fuck. <laughs> and uh, the idea of, um, you know, uh, like, what if, you, uh, what if you're what if you trying to get some pussy? Right, uh-huh. right. But, uh, but the gang, they need you to do one more crime. You know, but you got really what you want is pussy. What you want is pussy, pussy but you also don't want to be enslaved by the pussy. So right. You got to put you got to put work in between the pussy and you. And really, That's right. It's it's chiefly concerned with the idea that freedom is is sort of like not only not possible as uh, a state of being, but it's impossible as even an abstraction that you can comprehend because these men don't even know what they're trying to escape to. It's certainly not pussy. It's being uh-huh. shot to death by uh, Al Pacino in the uh, in a, in an airfield, and while while that bullet presses into Robert De Niro's heart, the audience can't help but think, you know, he's probably thinking about sucking. Getting cock. yeah, <laughs> oh really? He's probably thinking about what he really wants the entire time. Which so is, the whole movie's about being gay. It's about blowing Val Kilmer's <laughs> character, <laughs> uh, tugging on his tugging on his little ponytail while he while you suck his cock. Yeah, I don't know if that's. Uh, I don't know if that's true. I don't know. <laughs> it's not how I saw it. Hey, listen. When I invited you on to do the DVD commentary, I didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say you get to. You're just here to say yes. Okay, Bobby. I didn't see him as a gay guy. I didn't, I didn't see I him didn't, as a gay guy. I didn't see him that way. I when I you know when I do this with Marty, Marty. Usually holds my hand and we touch each other's penis. <laughs> but the character's not gay. The character's not gay. I'm gay with mine. The, the character. <laughs> <laughs> Robin. Mm. I love the Ooh, film. Oh, you're watching Heat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm making a look some money. I'm director Michael Mann, and uh, this is Robin Williams. He'll be doing the, the commentary. He wasn't Heat in the, the film at all, but. <laughs> oh, that little goatee it makes you wonder if it's held on with cum. <laughs> it's very funny, Robin. You know, I always wanted to do Heat with Robin, and I wanted him to play all the characters. <laughs> the original idea was that it was going to be a comedy. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, and, you know, the big joke is that we never get to see these men having sex with each other. But uh, with test audiences, 
they didn't really get it. They didn't see it as a comedy. They it's thought it was nuanced. just. They thought it was. Yeah, it was too nuanced. It was too yeah. much of a heist movie. <laughs> um, they thought it was really about the bank robbery, <laughs> rather than this idea that these five guys are gay with each other and they can never. They can never. They never have that. Uh, <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. moment in the hallway where they bump into each other and all the papers go and scatter and they mm. pick it up and they, you know, one hand falls on the other. Yeah. And they, they realize. A meet cute. A meet cute. Their hidden desires. Yeah. Are, you know, realize. So they have to be bank robbers. And that's, you know, I thought if if we reshot the whole thing uh-huh. uh, with mm. Robin Williams playing all the Must all have the been expensive. Uh, but he's, you know, Mrs. Doubtfire, he was busy with that, but he actually made all of his own clothes and costumes. <laughs> <He> owned, <laughs> when I met Robin in the uh, Motel 6 off Sepulveda <laughs> and, and uh, uh, you know, down, down in Inglewood, um, <laughs> we used to meet up there every Thursday. You know, we would tell our wives, respective wives, we had a business meeting. <laughs> And me and Robin would show up, and he'd be dressed as Mrs. Doubtfire, and I'd <laughs> bend him over and fuck him in a Motel 6. <laughs> I said, you know what would be great if what we could do is reshoot Heat shot for shot, You're but with right. you playing all the characters, and then release that as a director's cut. But the studio said we don't have another $40 million. <laughs> <laughs> We don't really have the money to reshoot the whole thing. <laughs> a lot of people think Heat, the name is about the Heat, the police, but it's a, it's really about the hottest ki- kind it's of It's about sex. the Heat mm-hmm. emanating off a man's ass. Yeah, hot gay sex. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, well, that's what always interested me about gay sex. It wasn't the, <laughs> it's the temperature. It wasn't the act itself. Is that when you do it without lube, the friction that's built up in an ass, and, and you know, eventually, uh, of course, you ejaculate. Hopefully not too early, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's you know you have you have time to savor the the act is uh, is that when you finally pull your penis out of a man's ass and you're completely hard you know because this is you know it's not the wife you've been this fucking is the for best years. type of sex you're fucking Robin Williams dressed up like a British grandma in a Motel <laughs> Six in Inglewood so you know you're you're harder than you've ever been in your life and it it pulls out and you can see some of the uh, the inside of the rectum come out a little bit mm. and the heat that builds up it reminds me uh both literally and metaphorically of the big bang and it makes me think right. well god was probably you know if god exists or whatever your conception of god is 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 a guy going out um you know he's out on the bareback exchange he's fucking right, dry he's right, fucking right. dry and yeah. he's in the clubs and he's mm. on drugs and he's getting aids in the clubs right. he's fucking dry and hot and that's why you know uh evangelicals will say that god sent aids and you know it's like well is this even really a punishment right you know cuz they they take the wrong the wrong they got the wrong idea when they think about it because aids actually makes the sex even hotter <laughs> It's like having a gun to your head. Right, 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 <laughs> you know, right. And it's, I don't think it's a coincidence that the, uh, 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 the emergence of the HIV virus coincides exactly with gun control laws in the United States. So true. Because there was never room to really have the conversation about who's affected most by, by gun legislation. And that is, of course bareback exchange gay guys that love shoving guns in each other's faces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. would you look at that? The heat is over. The movie's <laughs> over. Well, hope you guys yeah. enjoyed the commentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, see you later. <laughs> We're going to go have guys. Uh, Thanks for joining me, Rob. <laughs> like, oh, leave the light on for me. <laughs> leave the light on. Leave your dick on. Uh, leave, the <laughs> leave the money on the dresser. <laughs> Cash on the barrel. <laughs> Cash on the barrel. Can I go back to New York now? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I guess we're always through. Yeah, uh, Bobby really didn't take the Chicago. (laughs) There's a difference between the culture of Chicago and New York. (laughs) That Bobby really didn't seem to come. I love Chicago. You guys are just uh, a couple of homos. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> There's nothing to do with Chicago No, I just don't I don't know if I want to get HIV right? <laughs> I don't understand why that's necessary For my character <laughs> To contract the HIV virus yeah, Is not even part of the story David wanted us all to get HIV <laughs> And only Val Kilmer agreed <laughs> Yeah uh, Of course we brought David Mamet in For just some suggestions and- the thing he pressed hardest on is that all the characters should have each other. Ah, fuck. Um, yeah. 
Well, I'll tell you what. All the characters should get HIV, and you know what else all the characters should get? Mm-hmm. Is Manscaped. Is their cock they shaved. They should get their penises there. groomed. Yeah, you got to uh, you gotta clean your ear out before you put the dick pills in there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Chicago, you we got to your son. <laughs> Chicago guys, <laughs> you're your real. Your son getting molested. <laughs> yeah. For shelter. Too my, much hair, you can hear your son. Yeah. Uh, I was taking my son to a Cubs game, and he got molested in the bathroom. Mm. Uh-huh. And I couldn't hear because I had too much hair in my ears. Interesting. And that's after that, I started using the weed whacker. Now, the right. damage is done. That boy's scarred. Right. Know? So might as well put him out on the street, get a little rent money. You know, I mean, it's like your best case scenario, he ends up as a director. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of director of heist movies. <laughs> uh, worst case scenario, he ends up as uh, a New Yorker. <laughs> Jeez. It's weird that there's not more of a rivalry between Chicago and New York. No, we, we don't Is care. there even a fucking rivalry? I mean, I there isn't at all. Isn't it one of those rivalries Every, that only goes one way? Yeah, yeah. It's, like Baltimore and D.C. Like, we don't like D.C. No D, no one in D.C. gives a no fuck about Baltimore. No, no one's like, But we're like, Baltimore. fuck D.C. Yeah. Mm. Same way Chicago. It's like, look, whatever. Yeah. You're cute. You're in the middle of the fucking country. Mm. You're the best city there. But come on, suck it's my fucking dick. It's New York, dude. The performance package includes a crop preserver. So deodorant for your balls to protect against chafing. Also, to crop revive or ball tone or keep your boys fresh at all times. Yep. If you're wondering why I talk like this, it's because I've gone deaf from using <laughs> the wrong kind of ear hair trimmer. That's right. That's before I got the Manscaped one. The fucking weed whacker. And you know what? I, it doesn't say in here, but I'm assuming you can also use it on your asshole. <laughs> I'm going to say don't use it on your asshole. Don't try to use it on your asshole. 